Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a vertical and horizontal stripe pattern in Photoshop. First off, we are going to create our pattern document. So we'll go ahead and click on Create New. The dimensions for this, we are going to use uh, 200 pixels wide by 200 pixels high. Um, we'll set our resolution to 300, and then our color mode will be RGB color, and then we'll have our track. Our background contents will be set to transparent and go ahead and click on create. From here I'm going to zoom in on my canvas using uh, the command plus key and then from here we are going to create our line. So we are going to use the marquee tool and then up here under style make sure it's set to a uh, fixed size and then we are going to set our dimensions we are going to do uh, 50 pixels wide with a height uh, to match our our document settings of 200 pixels and then once you have that set you'll go ahead and click on the canvas and then you'll see uh, the outline of that uh, rectangle there and then I'm going to bring up my uh, layers panel to do that I'm going to go to windows um, layers and then uh, from here we are going to fill it so we're going to go to uh, make sure your colors are set to the default here and then to uh, get black as our foreground you are going to hit the, the option delete key or for mac users or for pc it would be alt backspace and then we'll fill in that rectangle there and so now we are going to center it so i'm going to go ahead and deselect doing command d and then uh, while I'm still on the marquee tool here, I'm going to go ahead and select everything. So we're going to go Command A. And then I'm going to hit V for the Move tool, uh, which is this one here. And then we are going to use these controls to center it on our canvas vertically and horizontally. And then from there, you can go ahead and deselect everything. And now that we have our, our basic stripe here, I'm going to go ahead and define it as a pattern. So coming up here to the top, we'll go to edit and then define pattern. Then you can give it a name and then go ahead and click on OK. And then next we are going to open a new document. So we'll go file new. And then uh, this time I'm going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper. So for the width, we're going to go 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. And then I'll set my resolution at 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is going to be RGB color. And then for the background contents, we're going to go ahead and switch it to white. And then we'll click create. Okay. And then we are now going to uh, pull up our pattern. So in the layers panel here, I'm going to go to the adjustment layers. I'm going to select pattern. And then you put the drop down menu here and select your most recent pattern that you created. And then uh, when this is open, you have the option to angle it. You can scale it up or down. And then uh, when this is open, you can even move it if you want to reposition it. And then if you just want to get back to the original, you can go to Snap to Origin. And then from here, you can click on OK. And then the next step will be to uh, recolor your pattern. So we are going to grab another adjustment layer. This time we're going to select Solid Color. And then you have the option uh, to choose a color. So let's try, let's try blue and then hit OK. And then we'll go ahead and create a clipping mask. And so you can do that by right clicking and then coming down to create clipping mask. Or you can use uh, the keyboard shortcut, which is you'll hover between the two layers. And then uh, for Mac users, you'll click option and then click and then it will uh, create the clipping mask there. And then if you want to change uh, the background color, you can add another solid color adjustment layer. And then you can pick another color. Uh, we'll start with um, this blue that we just used. And then maybe bring it up a little bit or darken it. And then it's just, you can just play with it, see if you find a color that you like. I'll try a little dark one there. OK. 
Okay. And so that's just an easy way to, um, you can turn this into like a template document and you can easily, if you have a different color palette, you can easily change the colors uh, to create your um, stripe pattern here. So let's go ahead and try another one. We'll go back into our uh, document here. Um, this time let's try maybe a thicker line or um, how about let's do an even line. So uh, we can go ahead and we'll just um, turn that layer off and then we'll create a new layer here. We'll go back to our marquee tool. Um, so this time let's do um, 100 pixels um, by 200 pixels just to get that even look. And then again, uh, we'll fill that layer with our foreground color. So we'll go option delete and then um, deselecting there. And then I will go command A to select everything, the V on the keyboard. And then we will, um, and you can either center it uh, here or we can choose to align it to the side. Um, this time let's go ahead and try to align it to the side uh, there. And then we'll go ahead and deselect everything. And then we will define this as a pattern. So we'll, and we'll go to edit define pattern, give it a name, and then we'll go back into our document here. So now that we have this set up, let's go ahead and group these layers together. So click on it and then shift to select everything. And then you can go right click and you can do group from layers or you can use the keyboard shortcut command G to group it. And then um, let's just give it a name, thin line. And then we'll go ahead and duplicate that. Duplicate the group. And then we'll go even line for our new pattern here. And then you can bring the drop down arrow. And then just clicking back on your pattern fill layer, select that new pattern that you created. And then you can click on OK there. And so now we have a, another uh, design um, with our vertical stripes here. And then if you wanted to, you would do the same thing for horizontal. You could either go and create a, another pattern but have it horizontally, or you could always um, create the vertical stripes and then just rotate it if you would prefer to have the horizontal stripe effect. Let's go ahead and create um, one more here. Um, this time let's go ahead and create another document. So let's go file new. Let's do um, two alternating stripe colors. And so we are going to expand it. So before we did a um, dimensions of 200 by 200, let's do um, 400 by 200. And then we'll leave everything the same, switching it back to a transparent background, and then click Create. And then we'll go ahead and um, zoom in on there. And then let's go ahead and do our um, rectangular marquee tool again. Let's keep our width at 100, height 200, clicking on the document here. Uh, this time we will fill it with our foreground color again doing our option delete alt backspace for pc users and then uh, let's go ahead and deselect that while we're still on the marquee tool we'll go command a to select everything go to v for the move tool and then we will align it to the um to the left edge here and then um, we'll go ahead and duplicate that layer. Okay. And then this time let's change the color. So we can select a different color here. We'll make it a red. And then uh, to fill in that color, we are going to, um, here in the layers panel, you see it says lock, and then it's kind of this checkered thing. You're gonna click on that, and that will lock our transparent pixels. And so we'll do our um, option delete again to fill it. And then that way it doesn't fill the whole layer with color, it will just fill in the non-transparent uh, pixels. And then we will go ahead and unlock that layer and then let's go ahead and move it. So let's go um, Command D to deselect 
And then this time we will drag it to where it lines up with that center line grid there. So now we have our two repeating colors uh, for our pattern. So let's go ahead and define that. And then let's do edit define pattern. Okay, and you can give it a name. And then we'll go back to our pattern document here. And then again, let's duplicate that layer, duplicate the group. And then you can give it a name, so two colors. And then uh, bring, opening up that group, we will change our uh, pattern. Okay. And then uh, let's go ahead and turn off this color layer. Um, let's turn this one to white to work with it here. Okay. And so we have our two alternating colors here. And so to, you could always go back to your pattern document and change the color there. Or you can, um, in this document, I'll show you another way you can um, be able to easily change uh, the color of your uh, two-toned or two-colored uh, stripe pattern here. So we are going to um, highlight both of these layers, your color layer, your pattern layer, and then I'm going to use the keyboard um, shortcut. It's going to be Shift Option Command E on a Mac. And so um, I think that's called. So if I were to go to Edit Undo, um, Photoshop calls that the Stamp Visible um, feature. So that's that's what I created a like a visible stamp of what was visible. And so uh, with this document here, we are going to use our magic wand tool. With that layer highlighted, I'm going to select all of the black. And you'll want to make sure that contiguous is unchecked so it will highlight all the black on the page. And then we will create a new layer. I'm going to uh, revert back to our default colors here. And then I'm going to fill that layer with black. So I'm going to go Option Delete. And then uh, let's deselect those there. And then I uh, will go back to our original layer here and then we're gonna highlight all of the red. And then we'll create a new layer. And then again, let's go Option Delete to fill it with black. And then we'll go ahead and deselect that there. And then I'm gonna turn off these uh, clipping masks here doing Option and then clicking, okay. And then from here, let's bring up our color background layer. And then we'll bring our colored fill layer above this one. We can go ahead and turn it on again. And then we'll create that clipping mask by clicking between the layers, option click. And then we will do the same. We will add another solid color adjustment layer. And then we'll pick a new color here. And then you can create that clipping mask, option click. And then now we have a two, two colors of our vertical stripes. So looking at our document here, we can see our different patterns that we have created. We have our thinner lines. Um, we have our even lines, uh, just one color. And then we also created our even lines with uh, two different colors here. And so creating our um, vertical and horizontal stripes is really easy to do in Photoshop and you can play with the different thicknesses. You can create multiple colors, alternating colors here. And you it's really easy to create this template document where you can come back to it and you can easily adjust the colors of these patterns if you're looking to create some more digital scrapbook paper. And then uh, once you have your, um, your design created, then you can uh, save it as uh, digital scrapbook paper. So to do that, you're gonna go to File, Save As, give your document a name, and then select your folder. And then um, for the format, you're gonna change it to JPEG. And then you'll want to make sure this embed color profile is still selected and then click save. And then for digital scrapbook paper, you'll want to make sure it's high quality so you can um, just drag the quality up to the highest level here and then just click on OK to save your paper. 
Thank you for watching this video on how to create vertical and horizontal stripes in Photoshop. Make sure you check out my other tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. In the description below, I will leave a link to my shop where I sell pre-made Photoshop pattern templates. You can also check out my Etsy shop where I sell digital scrapbooking paper packs. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.